ACTA stands for the Alliance for California Traditional Arts. Every state in the country has a state folk arts program, and ACTA serves in that capacity for the California Arts Council. Think about the things that you would want your grandchildren or your children to know about your culture and to know how to make it or perform it or say it. For us, it's important that we maintain our Mono culture. Our culture is pretty awesome. The Hmong people, we're here as refugees. So a lot of the tools and our instruments, our culture is lost within the country that we came from. Queremos que los niños donde somos sepan sus raíces, sepan que somos mixtecos. With over 100 different languages spoken in the state that has the highest number of Native Americans, the largest number of immigrants, it's a really, really rich tapestry of culture. I've been involved with ACTA since I was 10, and it's been an important part of the local tribal culture because of how it opens up opportunities for us. An apprenticeship program really models the way that people normally learn and practice the traditional arts. I was involved with Master Apprentice to make a basket with my grandmother and then another time to make a milkweed belt with my sister. As a child, I don't remember a time when my mom and aunts were not demonstrating something. I've never thought of myself as an artist because I'm a living culture, that's who I am. I'm just keeping going what I've grown up with. In California, there's 150,000 Mixtecos. So when you go to an event like the Dia de los Muertos in Madeira, people are able to contribute their skills as dancers, as the banda musicians with the traditional brass band music, with the people who make the mole. <laughs> Y estamos haciendo este evento para ofrendar a nuestros fieles difuntos. The altar itself is prepared with much artistry and knowledge in terms of the structure and the meaning. Es muy importante porque es un altar comunitario en donde todos tienen un lugar donde poner una veladora, una luz que va a guiar a sus seres queridos. It was very important for people to each have their own performance because they were performing for the spirits of the ancestors. At one time, Merced had the largest concentration of Hmong Americans in the nation. They started coming to the United States in the late 1970s, early 1980s as refugees and have made California home, made the Central Valley home. Um, the instrument is called a bamboo flute and in our language, we call it Qing. The Qing is a very traditional and very powerful instrument that, that unites all among communities. The reason why it's so difficult to play this instrument is because these six notes represent the whole Hmong language. So to get it correct, it must sound how we pronounce our Hmong language. The mission of the Alliance for California Traditional Arts is to ensure that California's future holds California's past. The California Arts Council has been about statewide leadership from its origins to the present. It's been a place that has been able to connect all of the disparate artists and arts groups in the state to each other. And the Alliance for California Traditional Arts is a product of that. We are about supporting, presenting, and sharing the richness and the vast cultural patrimony of the state of California. Music